I'm just focusing on one option, okay, for you. So in this case here, what I have, I'll have the extrusion of posterior rotating the mandible down and backwards because the mandible is going to be rotated this way with the fulcrum in this complex fossa condyle and rotating down and backwards, increasing the lower anterior face height and releasing, releasing from you the need for doing more distalization of the lower arch, which is something that people are doing very often. Remember that, look at the Facebook posts, the Instagram posts, people use TEDs, skeletal anchorage, and do extraction or distalization of the lower arch, like 10 millimeters. I ask myself, how? How is that possible? If you don't have distal to the roots of the lower incisor, more than one or two or maximum three millimeters. In this type of patient, hyperdivergent class three patients. So it's, it's a disaster, guys.